Item number SCP-1019 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The property surrounding SCP-1019 has been purchased underneath the Foundation Mining Front Atlas Berling. Professional Site-127 is to be established near the main entrance of SCP-1019. Armed guards are to patrol the facility with one being stationed at each known ventilation site and two being positioned outside of the main entryway into SCP-1019. SCP-1019-A is contained within a standard containment unit. Personnel are not allowed to interact with it following its initial recovery. Description SCP-1019 is a destination given to an underground facility located and across Sweden. The facility's layout is almost identical to Site 179's underground component. However, numerous wings, including D class housing and office spaces, are inaccessible due to cave ins. Scans of SCP 1019 for anti mimetic, temporal, and cognito hazardous effects are all negative. All other hypotheses as to the creation or manifestation to SCP-1019-A are to be submitted to research team Cavidae. Exploration into the site has also noted the following. Foundation documents noting the locations and containment status of known anomalies previously are currently contained at Site 179 each with varying degrees of accuracy. A photo of the previous Site-179 Director's daughter in the cafeteria. A file containing all D-Class currently present at Site-179. Human tissue and alipo cells lining the office walls. A bunker component that, when scanned, was predicted to reach the same depth as site 179s XK-Class bunker. A key card owned by Site-179 Previous Director SCP-1019-A is a designation given to an amalgamation of several human bodies. All DNA testing performed on SCP-1019-A has reported inconclusive results. SCP-1019-A has a roughly spherical shape and is only capable of minimal movement. It is able to speak though it shows no further signs of intelligence. All speech of SCP-1019-A is to be considered incoherent and is to be ignored. Recovery On May 31st, 2032, SCP-1019-A was discovered by an agent in a Kettle Wing containment cell. During the encounter, all information was lost along with said agent. With the exception of her clothes, equipment, and weaponry, which had been abandoned nearby. I know it's a little vacation right now, Six, but I'm going to suggest you return early. Edmund's now been catching wind of this mister's crap, and he's threatening to join us on the hunt. If this latest skip is another one of those damn things. Not the best thing to happen, if you ask me. The mentions of one entertainment right now have been scrubbed from those other two files. But even then... There's not much else that's really there. I doubt they'd be able to help much more than the rest of the council. Excuse 1019's file also. I'm sure you've already read it, but you should know that it's been edited for privacy. The agent was one of your own elites, X04. Sent her into the old bunker, right? She didn't come back out. All I have is a recording of this thing. You have to watch for yourself. I cut it down to the important parts because I know how much you hate being bored.
Video log. Date, December 15th, 2031. Begin log. The camera is pointing towards a mass of edibles and muscular tissue. It is rhythmically moving. A gun is seen entering the frame. The mass stills and several tendrils form on its back. They anchor into the wall and spin the mass around. The camera moves back, revealing the full room. It is a standard XK class preparations office with a most rotted desk in the center. There are no other notable features. An arm raises off of the side of the mass. It wheezes. The mass eight front facing eyes look at the camera. It settles and laughs through the multiple mouths on its cranium. It begins to speak through the various mouths. Been a while since I moved. A tendril forms on top of SCP-1019-A's head, pointing towards the gun. You don't need that here, you know. XO4 inhales sharply, ignoring the gun. Who are you? After a pause, it begins moving back and forth. Who aren't I? A smile cracks on the upmost mouth and two more tendrils form from SCP-1019-A. I'm sure you can tell, but I am many people, many minds, and many human bits. SCP-1019-A has stopped rocking. The tendrils were reaching over towards a desk and were tapping on it. Do you know what this place is? SCP-1019-A deflated before speaking. Forgot, I forgot. I spent so much time in this head, I forgot. SCP-1019-A closes his eyes. I was in my brain too much and still then it wasn't enough. Enough to become human again. SCP-1019-A's eyes open again. Its lower mouth is a jar and an unidentified fluid is dripping out. The camera moves back. Then, what do you know about this place? SCP-1019-A's hums and three additional tendrils form from its back. Each tendril begins stroking a different part of its body, situated above the eyes. SCP-1019-A ceases the action. Oh, it was made to escape. Escape what we thought at the time was disaster, but it was humanity we had been running from. Humanity. SCP-1019-A closes its eyes. Its body is seen shaking, and the leftmost mouth begins humming. All of the rest of the mouths are absorbed into the muscular tissue. It, it was coming. As a payment for what I've done, I've abandoned humanity. We had abandoned them. Our oath we took was words and nothing more. SCP-1090-A opens its eyes. A white and red liquid is flowing from them, along with several other orifices, which are presumed to be nasal cavities. While we hid, they became mechanical, more machines than man. While the outside world, it became human. More and more so. But we had hold ourselves into the darkness like we had for so many years before. Though this time it was not for humanity, rather it was for ourselves. For other mouths form in muscular tissue and popping noises are audible. We had strayed from the light and we, no you, paid a price for becoming inhuman. Maybe that's why we're still here. Away from the surface, the light, we're together, together. The liquid that has previously been a part of SCP-1019-A is beginning to harden into an adipose-like tissue. The camera moves back. Who, who is we? SCP-1019-A shakes the tendrils on its head. We, us, you, 
I. Note, uh, for sake of privacy, I edit out the name. You know how it is, Six. But you know him as your boss, don't you? When the disaster, humanity, came, our secrets, they fail. We fail. There was no use in having them. There never was. I'm sure you understand the protocols. The camera turns to face the entrance of the room. For a second of the recording, the entrance is seen covered by the Oedipus flesh. I'm sure you saw it on your way down, down here. I imagine it's also what you cleared through. I had to. We had to. It's my punishment for abandoning humanity. We never abandon it. And now I think humanity wants it to be yours as well. We want you to see our clarity. The screen goes black. The recording ends. End log. Good evening, Six. At 3 a.m. your time, a plane will be outside your residency. Please board when you get here. Do you talk to the rest of the council about this meeting? Consider 3 and 4 KIA. I know you've been entrusted with all physical copies of the documents. I expect you to bring them to me. There's a scan of a document from A. Compare them with the others. Expect a long conversation after takeoff. Until then... Wow! We are human again at last! After popular demand, we brought back a brand new set of Illumisters, a limited edition collection from Dr. Wondertainment. Isn't that fun? Find them all and become the brand new Mr. Collector! Zebo, Mr. Prologue. One, Mr. Dark. Two, Mr. Remembrance. Three, Mr. Toxic. Four, Mr. Collector. Five, Mixed Voltage. Six, Beep Gears. Seven, Mr. Memory. 8. Mr. Nobody 9. Mr. Bringy 10. Miss Seraph 11. Mr. Chrono and Mr. Dimension 12. Mr. Fish 13. Mr. Epilogue 14. Mr. Red Discontinued